So some examples that you may have drawn for human, things that are man-made for Egypt, maybe the pyramids. Another human characteristic of Egypt that you may have drawn might be the gold jewelry that the pharaohs wore. Another physical characteristic of Egypt that you may not have thought about, but it is human made, mummies. And yes, it looks like a gingerbread, but it really is a mummy. Okay. Now I want to, I'm going to give you just a couple minutes to go ahead and write and or draw some physical characteristics of Egypt, things that are nature made, that are specific and important to Egypt. Some of the things you might have drawn for physical characteristics for Egypt may be the fact that it's a desert region, that it has a lot of sand. You could have drawn sandstorms. Another really important uh, physical characteristic for Egypt, because this is what allowed them to be able to live in that desert region, the Nile River. So for physical characteristics, it's anything that's nature made that's specific and important to that place. Now rivers are found almost everywhere in the world, but the Nile River is specific to Egypt and that's why it counts as a physical characteristic. Now other civilizations also had mummies, uh, but for Egypt, I think when you think about the characteristics of Egypt that are man-made, mummies does come to mind because that's what they did uh, with their leaders who passed away. So this is a short definition of what's in a place. Um, if you'd like to rewind and take some more notes or re refine your notes, that's fine. Don't forget to bring it to class tomorrow so that we can go over it and apply it to our current unit.